today we'll talk about how to find that one piece of code that you're looking for and you just you just can't seem to find, right? We'll look in the metadata table and we'll look in the update set table and maybe in some tables that don't track to update sets like the scheduled script execution table and others. Stay tuned and we'll help you find that code. The situation that I've set up here is that I've assigned some work to a developer to generate an event when an instant is deleted, which will trigger an email. We'll also trigger a script action, right, to do something asynchronously when that happens. There's a scheduled job that does a daily check for these things just for fun and for the sake of the demo, which also contains the name of the event. So there's a handful of things that happen when this event gets triggered. Problem is, it's not working, and that developer has gone to PTO, and I can't seem to track anybody down, and I just have to go find the darn thing. The only thing I know, for sure, is the name of the event. So if I want to go find everything that the event touches, I'm going to go to the metadata table. Shown here, I'm going to highlight it for the sake of the video so you get some nice contrast, and then enter. Now when this pulls up, again, I, I do know the name of the event, so what I'm going to do is do a keyword search for the event name. And let's see what we find. Okay, good. I found four things. These are four things I care about, right? I got my script action, which is the asynchronous call that happens when the event is fired. I got my scheduled script that for some reason triggers the event daily. I don't know why we'd want to do that, but it's a demo, so why not, right? I got the actual event registration, and I got the notification that triggers when the event is fired. What I don't have is the actual business rule that fired the event. So I'm going to go find that really quickly here, and to do that I'm going to go to the update set table. Before I go there, just a quick caveat on the uh, application file table, the metadata table. This is traditionally going to be most everything that tracks to an update set, right? You might say to yourself, Tanner, uh, scheduled scripts don't track to update sets. That's true. However, sometimes you will find them in the metadata table, and there are always you know, exceptions to the rule of uh, not everything has to track to an update set to be here. So that's a, a happy exception to that rule. Uh, things that you're not going to find here normally would be things like workflow scripts or you know flow steps where you had a, a script get called and fired off an event. I don't think you're going to find a lot of that here and that's going to be a little bit extra digging for you. But most things are found here quite quickly and this is my go-to for finding things. All right. We didn't find my business rule though. I know there is a business rule, so let's go find the business rule. My assumption is that someone deleted my event call from the business rule, and I'm going to go find out who. So I'm going to the update XML table. Get that opened up. When I come here, what I like to do is compose a search where the payload contains the thing I'm looking for. Payload contains my event name in this case. And I do have one. There it is, right? It's in the default update set. This is likely to be an earlier version of what's out there today. Uh, I know it is because I deleted it from the business rule for this demo. Uh, so I did find it, though, which is good. Now, what I want to know next is obviously who deleted it and why, and can we get it back, right? So let's go ahead and open this back up. Go to show related record. There's my event in this version, which is good. And, oh look, it was updated today at 8.44 in the update set, fake, fakey, fake. And that surely was what removed it. We can obviously confirm that by doing a compare to current. We've deviated slightly from searching, but we do have to know if this is the version that had it. And it is, right? So, someone killed it in the fake, fakey, fake update set, which is why it's no longer appearing in the metadata search for me. So I've done my job of tracking this thing down, I've done my job of finding out why it is no longer triggering, and I even have someone that I can point my finger at when I say, go fix this thing, why did you delete that? Give me a good reason, right? That was my mission accomplished. So from here we go actually fix the thing and then we continue with our lives living happily ever after. Thank <laughs> you.